Now listen closely. Here's a little lesson in chivalry. This is going down in history. If you wanna be the hero number one, you're gonna catch an evil villain on the run. Welcome back to Minish Cap. We're finally here, Dark Hyrule Castle. Again. Previously, I got everything. I'm infused the power of Tingle. And I'm gonna shove it up body, where he doesn't want a Tingle shoved. So we're gonna continue with the dungeon today. This is a new part of the dungeon. I I'm gonna try and keep enemy encounters to the minimum if I can. Like like those whiz robes. They're just gonna hang out. Ah, cannonballs! I see you have come prepared. Uh, four cannonballs. And you can can't destroy them one at a time. You gotta clone yourself. Oh, luckily I have cloning powers. Uh, uh, hey, I was trying to clone here! Yes, I understand my swords do that. As low as it is assuming this isn't my first Zelda rodeo. Also, if you hear some buzzing in the background, even though I'm gonna try and knock it out, I have a fan on. It is very warm today. Body has turned up the heat in Hyrule Castle. Including the wall masters, or the floor masters, and the possessed pots. He's going all out in here. I, I would say this is the biggest dungeon. I think the Wind Temple's bigger. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that supposed to be difficult? Man, Vadi better step up his puzzle game. I gotta tell ya. Also, why am I equipping- why still I have my ocarina equipped? Let's not do that. Let's do boomerang. Okay, this one's a little bit tricky. I, I will admit Vadi has been doing his homework on this one. You gotta wait till that blade thing comes back, because we're going to straddle it. Like, right about now. And then we have to outrun it. There's other ways to do it, but I like outrunning the thing. And we did all that for a small key. So, we're done with this part of the castle. This looks like it's the main part. No. In fact, is the, the throne room supposed to be around here somewhere? I don't think this Hyrule Castle is matching up to uh, what it was before. I think he actually changed the architecture around it. And we have a map too, so uh, let's take a look at that map real quick. Yep, this is one big Ganon style type temple place. But we're heading this way this time. I think we passed by some place that was familiar, but eh. Everything looks familiar after a while. Especially with the purple and green stuff going on here. So now we have to clone ourselves in a very special way, because we got to take care of these things again. I like being the head of this pack, though. So I'm just going to make clones right here, wait for them to shoot, and I'll get myself, like, right in the middle. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's try that again. And... go! Ah! Alright, I'm going to have to reclone. They don't stay around for too long. Usually I get this very, very good, but my timing is a little off, it seems. Alright. Ah! We get knocked around by the cannonballs. This isn't working for us. Let me try a different tactic. Spin attack isn't working today. Let's try something else. Oh, let's try this. Nope, let's try something else. The motto of every person that clones himself at least three times. Let's try something else. This doesn't seem to be working in my favor today, and I did it so well the last time. Ah! Why are you getting hit? Don't touch that! No! Don't touch that! I'm just gonna whip out all the parts of that song. Because you guys are failing at it. I'm blaming you guys. Ah! Alright, so there's obviously something wrong going on here. It's upsetting me. Let me try something else. I read this in a guide once. Like that. I was supposed to do it really quick. Yeah. Spin attack usually works, but, uh, yeah, spazzing out also helps. Oh, look! A room full of Keatons! Let's fidget spin at them. See, even th they turned into fairies for my amusement. So, this is a dead end here. Let's start tapping the walls. Yeah, there's a hole right here. Bombable hole. I'm kind of low on, uh... Remote bombs, because I went through that, that puzzle dungeon. What, a bomb can't break a pot, but a sword can? 
Come on. You, you're not selling me on that one, Zelda. So, new area. We are on the uh, second floor now. First floor. We came up from the basement. And it's a throne room. Huh, I don't remember the king's throne room being here or being this small. Oh, it's the Dark Knight throne room. It's where they keep their Dark Knight. Yep. Fidget spin him to death. Who knew fidget spinning is the most lethal thing in Hyrule? Because it is. He, he invented it. Yeah, he's all the way in the past. He could invent everything he wants. And now you're copying him. Especially you teeny boppers. With, with your weird, uh, doohickeys that you're spinning around like crazy. You didn't know Link invented those, did you? That brings us back down to the basement. The dark, creepy basement filled with mummies. They were just here. The body didn't add them. They were just, uh, hanging out. You know. The rest of the royal family. The, the, the not important members of the royal family. I'm not fighting enemies if I don't have to, and I didn't have to there. I'd like to be over there, but we can't quite do that just yet. We're out here. And I am saving right now. Why? Because, um... I, I was going through the section earlier, and the game soft reset on me for... No good reason besides it can. So, I'm better safe than sorry. Now, just in case you get hit by a cannonball, or the game decides that no, you're just gonna restart the whole thing. Or, at least, last time you saved. Which wasn't in a while. I've been using save states. I think we might be safe from the the, the, the soft reset now. I think it's only in that one particular area. But we have to clone ourselves and don't get hit by this fire bar. It'll declone you and also set you on fire. If it's a physical link. Hey, everybody get in the door. All the clones go in the door. Hmm, this again. I'm just saving, just in case. Can never be too careful. Body might have some kind of reset power. So, we've seen this before. Yeah, they're launching cannonballs. I can't hit those with my sword. I'm busy flying right now. And don't get hit by a cannonball. It's bad for you. Alright, I just gotta thread the needle here a little bit. Yeah, like that. You could skip some of the whirlwinds and get away with it, but if you go too uh, too far down, obviously you're gonna fall. Yeah, no one pay attention to the hero running around. Nobody ever do that ever. <laughs> Supplies if you need them. I wondered what that was in this room, but if you need arrows, there they are. If you're following my guide, you don't need the arrows. Trust me on this. Unless you're doing this. What arrow? I'm spending one arrow right now. So I can open up the bridge. These, uh, boblins don't seem too interested in trying to kill me. I mean, the spear guys are at least doing their jobs. But the arrow guys are just, like, lounging about. I see what I have to do here. More cloning power! It's like this is the four-clone dungeon or something. Which it is. It is the final dungeon in the game. They have to throw in cloning somewhere. But yeah, pretty simple. Make links, hit switch. So, Body was having an off day when he made some of these puzzles, I think. Body was having a good day when he made this stuff. I, I did not want to fidget spin. Of all the times I didn't want to fidget spin, that was the time. Because I wanted to shoot uh, laser beams at that guy, and now I can't laser beam anymore. Ah, harder to kill those guys with the fidget spinner than it looks. Ah, where do I go next from here? Oh, to the left. I see my notes now. Hey, don't shut doors on me! Let me in! Ah, I bet there's puzzles behind there. Well, I have a feeling we're going to be seeing a lot of these rooms. What we're going to do is we're going to grab these bomb lights, and we'll have to use them as a bomb arrow, a makeshift bomb arrow. But we're not going to go there just yet. There's grates up here that I need to jump on, or jump through. Because more arrow shenanigans are afoot. Not enough to make me waste too many arrows, but enough to make me waste light arrows. Come on, they're light arrows. They're rare. There's only 99 of them in existence until I break a pot. See? There's even more of them right there. What are you trying to do? You're trying to close doors on me. That's what you're trying to do. Thank you. Thank you for that. Oh, 
look, free fairies! Check this out. Tingle Rag! You can make many fairy by hitting the lead one. Well, I'll never die ever. What did I bring those potions for? Yeah, that's another closed door for us. We're gonna have to go this way. It's just a big loop in this area. Let's take a look at the map. Yeah, you see how it's looping around itself? We're in the center. So we gotta solve a whole bunch of rooms. And this is the Black Dark Knight. Well, here's my strategy. Spin around like a madman. Doesn't seem to be working, the spinning around like a madman thing. Sometimes I could get a good double hit on him, but uh, it's usually not the case. And also he has that Cyclone blade. Ah, you can take more than three hits. I don't like you. And that summons even more Dark Nuts. Welcome to Dark Nut Hell! It's different than Dark Nut Heaven, where I sent all the Dark Nuts I previously killed. Let's just face it, they don't go to heaven. They ride the chariot into Dark Nut Hell. Which is this place. I bet that's the big key! Guess what we're not gonna be able to do for a while? So we gotta fight in four small keys. Also, where did this lead, anyway? I remember seeing the boss door somewhere, too. Oh, right. I, didn't I walk by bad past it? Oh, right, yeah, I fought the, the, the dudes in this room. Oh, well, it, it's a quick teleport to where the dark nuts are, so... Let's do this room first. It has some easy dark nuts uh, in this room. So maybe it's easier puzzles. Especially when they take two shots to kill. So let's go ahead and do this puzzle series. A more complex color puzzle. I already messed it up. Darn. Ah, uh, let's try it again. That's my motto today. Let's try this again. Uh, not exactly what I wanted to do either. I can do this. I can do this. And maybe I can't do this. I become color stupid. Uh, yeah, do this. Then uh, cover this up and make an L block for yourself. There we go. Okay, that one was a little bit tricky. I, I like that one. I see the real guinea! Kill it! The real guinea will flash like a regular enemy. The rest of them will just flicker. So, killing him, it's kind of like the original Zelda, where sometimes you'll have packs of enemies and one of them is the leader. And if you kill that one, it kills all the enemies on the screen for you. It's a, it's, I think it's a throwback. I'm pretty sure that leads to more arrows and bombs. I don't need any of those. I'm going this way. And we get ourselves one of the small keys! If you haven't divined by now, we're gonna have to kill Dark Nuts to go do a puzzle so we can get a small key that helps open the big key. That's pretty much the entire design of this dungeon. Or at least this floor. That was the, 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 the sound of the uh, bridge extending for me to get over here. Oh no, I messed it up! Oh no, I've done something horrible! Don't look, children! That didn't even look vaguely like what you were insinuating, Armored Chocobo. Who are you trying to fool? Ah, Red Dark Knight, I presume. You trying to walk through that pillar? No, that doesn't work like that. You die instead. Thank you for your single rupee of pay. Fadi needs to pay his soldiers better, I'm just saying. Okay, there's two ways to go about this puzzle. One way is you can make a plus sign out of Lynx using one of these sets of things, and you get them through the fire bars and kind of find a way to wedge them in here and swing at the, the switches. But these switches are close enough together you can do it with a single spin attack. It's silly. What, what were the cloning things there for then, huh? Ah, Blaze Robes! Hello, Blaze Robes! You're dead now. I killed the last of the blaze robes. If you fall down there, you can just end up over here. There's some, uh, there's some gibdos down there. That's it. Or gibidos. Which way is it? I I'm sure I'm missing an eye somewhere. Oh well. That was the, uh, what was that one? That was the southeast dark nut puzzle room. We have two more rooms left. I'm going like this with gangbusters right now. Going through it like gangbusters. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Can't go that way. That is the puzzle I've already solved, and I can't clone myself in that direction. There's gotta be a way around that. Let's 
just go up this way instead. I think this is another red dark man up this way. Ah, uh, yes, I have to go through this again. You know, this puzzle wouldn't be so hard if I was able to just make, like, oh. You know what? The blocks didn't respawn. I could just jump over it. Yeah, even though you go through the grate when you double jump here, you'll still land on the, the ground level. Ah, uh, Game Boy Advance. Why can't you be more like Mother 3? Mother 3 had some pretty good uh, smoothness going on for it, but I'm pretty sure that's at the end of the Game Boy Advance's life, too. This is closer to the beginning of it. This is made like 2003, Game Boy Advance came out. Actually, on this very day, 2001. So, yeah, it was about in the middle. And Mother 3 was around the same time, wasn't it? That was 2003, 2004. So, yeah, they're about on par. I guess I just prefer Mother 3 better. Also, we got the Wall Masters coming out of the walls, which are also the ceilings. So you have to be careful, they'll send you right back to the beginning of the dungeon, and then you'll have to take a teleporter back. I hate these guys! Die! All of you die right now. I know you're already dead, you're skeletons. Just make me happy, okay? Just make me happy. I saw some eye switches up here, I'm going to shoot them now. They witnessed too much. They saw them throwing their boners at me. You heard me. They are voyeurs. I'm just jumping over that because I can. Hmm, I want to be over there. But if I push these blocks in the right way, I can't be over there. Which means I have to fall for once. It's just a reverse version of the room we were just in with the blaze ropes. Except we have to fall down with the mummies. And that'll lead us to the third key in this puzzle. And that uh, blue door we can open too with uh, the switch over here. But there's really not much to it over there. We'll just go outside and check, but I'm pretty sure it's just hearts. Yeah, just some hearts. In case you're not abusing the fairies. Now you might think you're stuck, like there's another way out, but that block goes that way too. I wish I didn't have to backtrack through these puzzle rooms after I was done. Are you having fun, Link? Stop being on fire. Out yourself immediately. Speaking of which, hey, look, potential fairies. I was going to try and jump through the door, but the door was too low for me. You know what? I'm going to only kill one of these guys, and the other one I'm going to try and kill with a down, down stab. Why the heck not? Stay still. Let me down stab you. Yeah, stay still. There we go. It's not useful for some situations. I just want to down stab that guy. Ah, yes, the lantern room. You can do this room faster if you set yourself on fire first at the fire bar, but either way, light all the torches. That's that's great, Vadi. He's just throwing stuff at the wall, see what sticks. Including this room again. Just kill the leader of the, the Guinies. That's all you have to do there. And now we head up a floor. For the final small key. Now we can open the way to, uh, that, the block that we didn't have to push, so we could open our way to the boss key, so we could open our way to the actual boss. But first, we need to backtrack a little bit. This is why I like jumping, because I can just jump over obstacles. Or I can just walk through them like that. That also works! I'm just gonna jump a little bit. You know what, let's do this room again, because why the heck not, let's do full circle. We're above it now! This is how you get to that other side of the room, where we were before. Just so you know, I'm giving you a 100% tour of Hyrule Castle. Also, don't I have a... Yeah, I have the compass now, so... As you can see, not a heck of a lot of chests in here. It's just, um... I gotta get to the, the boss key room now, which is in the blue teleporter. Of course I could just cut this out and do it later, but... I want to open things. Opening! Link is the god of opening. I'm wondering, if you do the spin attack after this, um, this dash attack, you know what Link does when he connects to an enemy? I wonder if you could great spin off of that. Is that possible? Does anybody know? Has anybody tried it? Because all I know is great spinning out of uh, a regular spin. 
there we go, the big key. But we're at 20 minutes already, so the thrilling conclusion is gonna have to wait till next time. Finally, on Minish Cap, we will fight Vadi. His door is right over here. Good night, folks.